Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys, Sag? Hope you're all well. Thank you so much for dropping in. Let's see what your overall energy is surrounding you, Sagittarius. Overall energy surrounding Sagittarius. Sagittarius need to know. There we go. Angelic assistance, divine guidance, loving support. Ooh, grateful optimism, joyous views of the future. Some of you are feeling very optimistic. You're being guided to um, focus on that energy. I see this angelic assistance, spiritual guidance here, divine guidance. So there is some loving support. You have support of spirit. Okay, I see some energy of being grateful, okay, of optimism. Be optimistic. Joyous view of the future. You've got something really positive here. Sagittarius, there we go. And we have innovation, new creation. So this could be something you're creating, feeling optimistic about something new. Ooh, divine masculine. We have the divine masculine. Now you could be the divine masculine or it's the divine masculine being guided towards you. There's something new innovation creative ideas inspiration i see something someone being very gracious someone's ha has a very joyous view of the future active action and power El electric energy here oh my goodness someone's got some ideas here the divine masculine let's see what's going on let me straighten these out a bit from my angle, it's sometimes hard to see, and I don't like to fuss too much while people are waiting. All right, Sagittarius. Oh, there we go. So I see justice and balance. Making decisions, doing things just right. Something to do with marriage, commitment, or whether something's right for you. There's some kind of lack. Okay, someone may feel like they're not right, they're not good enough, there's some kind of lack. See that five of self-fulfilling prophecies. Uh, it started. It's telling you to see optimistic. Someone here is not optimistic whether something will go in their favor if it's right for them or not. But it's spirit here saying, "Do what's right for you." Okay, justice and balance. So a little Libra energy here. Yeah. Some of you may feel like someone's not right for you. If someone didn't treat you right, they may have come in with luck. Yeah, it's an energy of walking away. But this is that energy. Where is my soulmate? So there's something that's lacking emotional fulfillment. Some of you may be lonely. Okay, you may have walked away from a relationship that was lacking. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling. So Spirit's guiding you to stay optimistic. And we have the Page of Pentacles. So there's something starting here. It's a communication. Someone looking at the details, planning for success. Grateful optimism. So this is very positive. I like this energy. Very clear. Sag, yeah. We've got a King of Cups. This could be the Divine Masculine. Somebody very emotionally available and mature. They're planning to communicate. Okay. This person could have a playful side, a little mischievous side, okay? But they're very sensitive, okay? Someone emotionally available and mature. So they're planning a communication. They're going to come in. They want to make sure it's right, that it's successful. This is someone who may be talking to you about a relationship. Yeah, three of cups. You have an invitation. There's going to be some kind of an event. I dropped a card. Where did it go? There's your invitation. I was like, where is that invitation? There it is. So you have an invitation. Somebody's going to invite you. They want to start something. So it's an event. Could be anything. They're planning something. It could be something they're planning at their home. Because we know the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone who's in that energy. It'd be a bit of a homebody who likes a nice home. They like to cook. Someone may be planning something. It could be a, an offer, uh, a date. It could be introducing to friends and family. New creation. Someone's creating something new. Someone here likes to cook, it's telling me, and they're creating something, and they're have, inviting people over. And I know the King of Cups sometimes likes to cook. I mean, any sign can, but I know that King of Cups a lot of times does. Because somebody is very family-oriented, likes to spend time at home. They like to have a nice home. They like to eat good. They like to indulge. 
<laughs> so someone's about to indulge you because I see this new creation, innovation. Yeah, we have an Empress energy. There we go. Yeah, someone's a little guarded, a little defensive. Someone needs to let their guard down. So I feel like it's an energy of someone. There's a lack of clarity. Now, I feel when I see this as someone who's very curious, okay? There's something they want to know. They're shining a little light on something. It has to do with beliefs, things that you stand up for. I see the Empress. A little Taurus and Libra energy here. Here it is. It has someone, it's about someone treating someone right. Someone walked away from someone who didn't treat them right. There was locked. They were lonely in a relationship. So it's about assistance. Somebody may be assisting someone. Um, there could be a lot going on here, but I see loving support. Somebody very supportive, uh, very emotionally mature. So there's an offer. They're planting a seed here. We'll see where this goes, but I see someone's being a little guarded and defensive here. They're not sure about something. There's a, Someone needs a little more clarity. It has to do with that cup. So I feel like it's related to this King of Cups. Someone's very curious. Maybe you're guarded and defensive, or maybe they are. Maybe they have their guard up. I don't know here, but I see the Empress, the birth of something new here. This could be this person, could be yourself, Sag. Uh, we got a divine masculine. Let's see what's going on with this. Oops, there we go. Yeah. So we got someone coming towards you here. Someone wants to get to know you more. They're making you an offer. So I do see an energy of someone distancing yourself, moving away from lack. Okay. So you have a new opportunity. So there's a nine of cups. Going to get something you want here. This is somebody emotionally balanced. Yeah, you had someone here in a relationship. There was a lack of emotional balance, emotional connection between two. So where is my soulmate? You got someone looking for a soulmate. Yeah, a little Pisces energy possibly, or it's just an energy of intuition. Could be a bit of a secret admirer at this point. Someone's planning something, but I do feel it's an energy of someone trusting their intuition. They already know everything they need to know. They know enough. Yeah, they want to get to know you more, though. They're still curious, so stay in that Empress energy. Let this person be curious, okay? And that's what I feel like it's saying, because the Empress does that. The Empress is sometimes very mysterious, okay? Very mysterious. They want to get to know you. Very curious energy. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, you got someone planning something here. They're, they're wanting this to be successful, <laughs> It's a solid, reliable offer to some kind of event or a party, a celebration. Yeah, this person's definitely very strong and confident. They're coming across as strong and confident too. Their message, their communication, because they want it to be successful. Little Leo energy. And then I see uh, Three of Cups. So there's definitely some kind of an event. Friends and family, some kind of get-together. Uh, very positive news. Uh, very confident this person's very good around people. They may be a very good speaker as well. So I like that. Their friends see them that way. So I do feel they have some very strong friendships, some strong bonds with people. Definitely someone who likes to entertain. I think you got someone who's cooking something up here too, for some of you. Let's see what, because they want to start something. It's planting the seed. <laughs> Tell me about that. Ace of Pentacles. What is this? Yeah, see, they're contemplating here. There you are, Sad. You're contemplating this. See, introducing to friends and family an invitation. They want it to be successful. They're being careful what they say, how to communicate. So they're trying to, you know, portray that confidence. And I feel they are pretty confident to a degree. But they're also, I can see that uh, optimism. See, so they're optimistic. And they see you here. They see you as very sexy, very strong, very confident. Yeah, they see that energy. They see you very focused, very driven. You know what you want kind of energy. So this person knows enough. They know they know some things. They may travel in the same social circle. So I do see a couple events here. Yeah, so this person's taking responsibility. So they're going to take all the responsibility. They see you as responsible, reliable, someone who pulls their weight. So there's a lot of talk and communication. Wow. But they're going to take the responsibility for something. They're planting the seed. They're doing something here. Okay. 
The sun is shining, so this is a, a, a burden lifting, uh, whatever it is. So this is someone who sees you this way, strong and confident, somebody who pulls their weight. So some of you may have left a relationship where there was some kind of lack. It may have taken a lot of strength for you to move on from someone. So this is interesting. I see spiritual guidance, trusting your intuition. But I think this person's in that energy too. Yeah. Tell me about the three with the Empress, that beautiful energy, Empress energy. Why is that here? Yeah, you know what you want. You're staying in that Empress energy. Yeah, someone's trying to figure you out. They're very curious. They can't figure you out. <laughs> someone can't figure you out. But this is someone who doesn't want you to get away either. I can see it. They're looking at the facts. So there's someone here with some using their logic. This is a logical person trying to figure out how to communicate something. Okay, and they're very, very curious. So you are a little guarded, a little defensive, uh, possibly, but they're curious, okay? This person's very curious. I can see them looking at the facts. They're trying to figure you out. Something might be bothering them a little bit, um, but I, you know, I got to tell you, I feel mostly they're, whatever it is that they're doing, they're taking responsibility. They're making this offer. Someone, I think this person's going to try to impress you or something and show you their responsible partner. You see, I think they're going to cook. They're, they're planning something. Oh, yeah. We got the Page of Cups here. Pardon me. I thought this was the Page of Swords, but it's actually a shield. So, so someone a little shy but optimistic. So they're offering this. So they're trying to figure something out. Okay, I can see some kind of change. It's an energy of someone who's got some water. They're just going to go with the flow. They do need to let their guard down, but I think this person's trying to figure you out. Something they can't quite figure out. So they are definitely in that curious energy. Always with that swords. They're looking at the facts here. Yeah, they don't want you to get away. This person wants to win, okay? Very determined. So I think they're going to try to impress you, to show you they pull their weight. They're a good partner. Oh, yeah. This person sees you as someone planning for success, very successful. This person's going to chase you. But you are a little guarded. You won't chase. You're not chasing. You may have chased in the past, but you're not chasing this person. No. Some of you are playing the field, too. This person's trying to figure you out, too. So I do see a little player energy. Someone may think you're a little bit of a player, okay, or you think they are. It could go either way, but I see this energy of someone playing the field, trying to figure you out. Someone can't figure you out, okay? feel like you're kind of blocked. You don't share a lot. You're, um, yeah, There's you, you are very in one of those energies where you're careful what you believe, okay? You're very focused on success. Definitely a little bit of a free spirit. Somebody wants to know if you're free, if you're single. Like, I don't know if they want, they're trying to approach you. You got people around you all the time. So let's see. I think you got a person who's going to try to impress you. I really, that's what popped into my head there. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone who's making a decision, a judgment here. They're planning success, letting their guard down, releasing, shedding it. Okay, so it's telling you to let your guard down a little because I do see something new. I see the birth of something new. I see this change, going with the flow, just letting things evolve, that's a decision. Just let it evolve and see where it goes as you figure each other out. So I do see this new creation. See, this is the shedding, clearing out the old, releasing negative energy, negative thoughts, staying out of the head, letting that guard down. Could be yourself, but it could be this person too. But I think they're going to try to impress you, to show you they're a good partner. I think you're going to get a couple of invitations here. I see a couple of, oh yeah, look at that, new innovations, emotional fulfillment and happiness. Uh, I see a new creation. Something new here. Oh yeah, this person's going to do things to make you happy. You see that? This is some of this person, I'm going to tell you, they're going to indulge you. You aren't going to be indulging this person because they don't want you to get away. Tell me about this angelic assistance. We'll leave the Divine Masculine to the end. <laughs> Tell me about the Angelic Assistance. What is this spiritual guidance here? Oh yeah, this person's got some feelings. This person feels guided towards you. 
they're very loving, very supportive. See, this person's going to show you their, you know, that they pulled their weight, that they can be very good support. Okay, you see that? I see a lot of friends and family. I see this. You travel in the same social circle. You may travel in the same circle. You may be unaware of this person's feelings. They may be keeping them to themselves. This person knows everything. And to trust your own intuition. I think you already know this person. They're going to try to impress you. I can see it. Are they planning for success here? This person's trying to figure something out too. Like I feel as though I do see a little sneaky behavior. They want to win. But it's really someone who's looking at the facts. So I feel as though this is someone who, and I think you're figuring this person out. I think you're going to have them figure it out pretty quick. Because I feel like what they're going to do is plan something. Uh, there may end up having to be a sleepover. So you're going to have to make a decision uh, where this is going to go. So I feel like it's an energy of going with the flow, just seeing what happens. Okay, but I do see a lot of emotional, some it's innovation, new ideas. I see this about happiness here. You got someone who's very positive too. I feel like you got somebody, every day is a new day. They wake up very happy, very positive. I feel like you got someone who's planning an event. Now there's probably going to be with the King of Cups, a little drinking, socializing, okay? So it's an energy of someone who's, uh, I feel as though you're trying to do the responsible thing. Something to do with drinking, sleeping over. So a little sneaky behavior there. <laughs> yeah, something there. Feels all right, though, because I see happiness and emotional fulfillment. Tell me about grateful optimism. There we go. Yeah, so there is some kind of competition here, obstacles to overcome, but it's somebody coming in to fight for what they want. You know what you want here. There are a few obstacles, and I feel like the obstacles with these events is there may be other people involved. There may be people around you. This person's trying to figure out, too, if you if there's competition, people competing for your interest. They may feel like you're a little bit of a player. Or you're just playing the field. Maybe you are. I don't see a player as, so much as someone playing the field. Uh, but I do think this person is looking to see if, and it could be they reach out to you and they may just ask you if you're seeing anyone else. And I feel there's some kind of relief. Okay, so it's it's positive that way. There's that Empress energy again, yeah, the birth of something new. I feel like you're very open. I see someone, this person sees you as an Empress. They see as other people being, you know, giving you a lot of attention, fighting for your attention. There's people around you. Um, but they're planning something. And I feel like that whatever it is, they want it to, they want this to work. They want to win. So I would be a little cautious. Now, I don't know if it's yourself or this person, but I feel as though what we have is someone, there's going to be a sleepover. It's going to be a big decision about whether to spend the night. Okay. You're a little guarded and defensive here. You're not sure what to believe. But I feel like it's yourself here. If it's not you, it's them. I do see a Leo energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio as well. Yeah, so we have the Divine Masculine. What is this Divine Masculine up to? What are they up to? Yeah, they're communicating something. You're going to look at it. You're not going to be 100% sure here. You're looking at the details. Tell me about this Divine Masculine. There we go. Oh, yeah, they're not telling you something. They're keeping something to themselves. It's a lack of clarity. This person's very curious about you, though. Let me tell you. It's your feminine wiles here, and I can see it. That feminine energy. Very sexy. You're very mysterious, so they're very curious. But they're going to communicate something, and I feel like they're not going to tell you everything. Make sure you get the clarity, okay? Make sure you get the clarity before you go to a, a party or celebration with someone. They might... You know, there's definitely drinking. I do see this person being positive, but I do see them being a little sneaky because <laughs> they want things to go in their favor and there's some kind of change. I feel like it could be yourself. A little apprehensive here about this, making a decision if there's a sleepover. That's what it's telling me. They're not going to tell you everything. Keeping something to themselves. But they're very curious. They're waiting for your answer. So I feel like you're going to take your time a little. And you're going to leave this person thinking. 
Yeah, there's a lot of feelings here. Oh my goodness. We have the King and Queen of Cups. See emotional fulfillment. Yeah, I see some kind of success and truth. I do think you're going to get the truth. I feel as though there's a need for clarity. So something needs to be cleared up here. I do feel it involves a sleepover because of a party, a celebration, some kind of drinking. There may be travel. Okay, an opportunity travel distance. Now, it could be this person inviting you someplace to go somewhere. Uh, you may have to spend the night. You might. There's things that need to be clear. I don't think this is a really huge deal, but you know everything you need to know. Trust your intuition. This person's looking for a partner, a soulmate. So they want to impress you. I can tell you that right now. They're going to show you they're responsible, reliable. They see you as responsible too. So being responsible, doing the responsible thing. So that's really good. Yeah, very sensible, very practical, focused on money, career, the birth of something new. Very creative, very passionate. You stand up for your beliefs. They see you as very strong and confident. This person likes you. Uh, very impressed. Oh, yeah, there's that offer. See, this person knows it's going to take you a little time to get comfortable. So I feel that's energy. It's telling you to look at the details, to ground yourself before you make a decision. I, I'm going to tell you, this person, they really, you know, it's, they're going, you're going to have people around you. There's going to be other people. But I feel like, I see this being very gracious, very kind, accepting an offer. I feel like you're open to it. I feel like you're going to have a couple um events you're going to do the responsible thing on the first event the next event there's more drinking another opportunity and then there's that sleepover so it's somebody who's a little sneaky so make sure you get the clarity but i do see emotional fulfillment i see a couple and i see success i see the divine masculine beautiful energy uh, safety security financial stability this person has your best interest at heart and that's what you're going to make sure of though it's telling you to make sure of it first okay yeah, you're very wise. You're no pushover here. You're figuring it out. You know what this person wants, right? They want to get you alone. They want to. They want you to spend the night. But I do. I don't think this person's going to expect anything. They may leave out a few details. Yeah, you'll you'll set them straight though. <laughs> you'll set them straight, Sag. I can see that. Yeah, you'll speak your truth. You'll set this person straight. You're going to teach them how you want to be treated. I think they have your best intentions. I don't I don't think this person, it is a bit of a setup. I have to be honest, um, but I don't think this person's going to force themselves or do anything they shouldn't. But I see, I see you being responsible and reliable, maybe having one drink at this event. I see having a very good time, feeling very optimistic, enjoying yourself. But the second, the second event, the second invitation is going to be different. And that's what it's telling you to prepare for. Yeah. You'll set them straight. You'll teach them how you want to be treated. You'll make yourself very clear. You, know, you will ask the question. So make sure you get it. You're getting a heads up. There's that black swan. Yeah. It's a little Libra energy. It's the it's Queen of Swords. I always see the Queen of Swords as a swan, okay? Yeah, you will know how you want to be treated. Now, there we have the some kind of communication, clear communication. I see moving, taking your time, slow and steady wins the race, making sure you're comfortable. This person is going to indulge you. They're going to make sure you're comfortable, okay? Or there's something that makes you uncomfortable at some point. But so it's telling you to speak up, okay? Don't be too passive. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid to speak up. That's what Spirit's telling you. If you have a side of yourself that's passive, okay, where you're afraid to speak up about something like that, spending the night after a party, you know, someone's intentions, uh, don't be afraid to speak up. There's that cactus, a little prickly situation there. But I do see there is going to be a connection here. I think this person, you know, I do think they're going to be patient. I don't, they want something new. They're definitely trying to start something, but they're going to do things to make you happy. I see em emotional fulfillment, this new. You have a lot to offer too. This person sees it, but you're waiting for this, right? You're going to be sitting here with open arms waiting for the next event. So you may be the one who indulges a little bit too much on the next event. So who knows? Maybe you're the one who's going to do it. <laughs> you might be the one, okay, trying to figure something out here. 
You know, the feminine wiles, what can I say? So we have the two of hearts here, two hearts connecting. So this is lovely. Slow and steady wins the race, communication. Don't be afraid to speak up, okay? But I do see this circle. I do see some kind of an event, uh, something coming full circle. There's this world energy. So you're going to see this person a few times here. I see safety, security, financial stability. I see some kind of a commitment. Uh, you want to know if this, you want the truth. You want to know if this person has your best intentions. And I see success. So it's positive. All right. Take care. Sagittarius, I wish you the best. Have a little fun, but I do see you being responsible. Okay. You are responsible for you, how much you drink. Yeah. Interesting. Take care. Bye for now.